think it was a little bit before and a little bit after you guys. It was 1-1 and then 3-1. I saw you a couple times very animated on the bench. Like, how did we miss? Well, that you weren't absolutely thrilled with the way that I, you I know, guys were playing. I was, I was pleased by the way we were playing. I just, and I don't know when those expressions that I, uh, that I did uh, happened, but uh, I'm assuming that they're probably when we had those great scoring chances, one of many, and we failed to put it past the goaltender. You know, uh, you know Danny Doremus had that, that wide open net, and I still, I mean, again, I didn't have a good, I mean, I got the worst view in the house. And, uh, uh, but uh, I know that a lot of people, including Danny, were shaking their head like, how the heck did I miss that one? So, um, I, but I was pleased with the, the, the effort. I was pleased with the execution. The, I mean, you can create all kinds of scoring chances. And, and sometimes, you know, the goaltender just robs you, you know, and over and over again. And that was my fear, I, you, know, uh, uh, you know, as in the dying seconds of that second, of the first period, that all of a sudden we're going to come out of here really playing well and had, had, had all kinds of scoring chances and, and uh, really giving them nothing. And there's really nothing to show for it in the scoreboard. Uh, fortunately, we scored you know twice in the last one, you know, the big power play goal to put us up 2-1 and, and, uh, and then obviously Ostro come back and scoring again. So that was, a, that was huge for us. But uh, obviously Anchorage is not a very good team. Um, were you afraid that perhaps your guys were gonna pick up some bad habits? I think my my concern always is the emotional uh, the emotional uh, how the emotions swing in a game like this. You know, you you play really well and you give a damn good effort in the first period and you do all the things you need to do. You know, you, you've got a way more scoring chances. You're giving them very little. You've got way more scoring chances and you come up empty-handed. That can be frustrating. And obviously, you know, you go back in your locker room if that's the case. You go back in your locker room and you try to regroup. And try to say, okay, guys, that's it's okay. Let's keep pounding away. Conversely, you got the other team going in there. Hey, they just threw everything at us, you know. We came out of there unscathed, boys. We got a chance here. Let's go out, you know. And, and uh, that's how the game goes. And, and uh, you know, sometimes, especially as as well as we played, as dominant as we played at times, uh, you can have a little bit of a uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult to, to you know get back motivated again because you really haven't seen anything for your efforts. Fair to say this is almost like